The supermarket of the future, well, it's going to be here soon, and it's going to mean a lot simpler checkout. Simon, what are we looking at in the background here? Here we're looking at an autonomous retail store. Basically, you walk in, in the store, you pick up the items you are interested in, and you leave the store. And we will automatically charge you for the item you picked up, and there's no point in queuing. And it's amazing because you're identifying people there, you're identifying the products over there, and you're doing this not on some super mainframe computer. No, this is a standard computer that we just have in the shelf. It understands the pulse of the people, what you're holding in your hands, it recognizes your face, your body, and also what the products on the shelf currently and counting them. And that means from a customer perspective, you don't take your wallet out or your phone out or anything, right? So basically, when you pick up your product, if you're already registered, you can just leave the store and we will charge your credit card. Otherwise, you can just go to a self-checkout area. Instead of having to rescan your items, it just recognizes, oh, this is the same person that picked up these previous items, and then you swipe your card and you can leave. And you're working, at, uh, working with retailers. What's motivating them to uh, implement this? So currently, uh, people have to queue quite a long time in stores, and that creates friction, and friction makes people less likely to buy things. But the thing that retailers is, are the most interested in is all the data they can get now. We can tell you which product people are looking at, but then decide not to buy, uh, where people are walking, uh, what kind of people are actually buying things. For example, if you have a loyalty card, uh, I might have one and I buy things on it, but then I lend it to my girlfriend and she gets something else, like cosmetics. And they might think like, oh, 30-year-old males like cosmetics, but actually it's linked to a, a card instead of the person, like what we are doing. That makes a lot of sense. And the other thing too is you mentioned that the role of the person at the cash register will change. Yeah, so instead of uh, just counting or like scanning products, they will actually assist people in the store. We can see if someone needs help, someone is lost, or if a product is misplaced, and then ask one of the cashiers or um, store managers to go and, and help fix that problem. I'd imagine too it opens up the possibility of retailing 24 hours a day. Definitely. I think we're going to see this in a lot of convenience stores pretty soon and then later in, in big retail. Excellent. Well, Simon, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.